which means it is time to go find some new little free libraries. And I've already shown you all the ones I know, so these are all going to be brand new ones that I haven't seen before. Let's go five, find about five of them, I think, would be a good number for today. Let's go some book hunting. Here's a really cool looking little free library. I was at a park and I was like, I know there's, they're always near parks, like there's got to be one around here. And I couldn't find it. And then I saw a couple looking through the books and I was like, ah, oh, there it is. So here is the little free library. It opens on the opposite side from normal. It has like a little hook. It's so cute. Okay, let's see what we've got inside here. This is a pretty stuffed one, which is good because that means people are loving books. Let's just organize it just a little bit more so I can see. At first glance, I'm not seeing anything I need. It is hard to organize with just one hand. Oh, what's that? The author sounds really familiar, but I don't recognize that book. Cool. So anyway, so here's another free, a little free library. So here is another little free library. I found this one because it is a Pokestop. It is in memory of John and Man O'Malley. And it's got some uh, things written into the concrete and there was a little shelf because there used to be a geocache actually here too, I think, according to the Pokestops picture. And it's got a latch on the side. It's got three little sections inside for books. I don't see anything immediately that I would really be interested in, but they've got some textbooks in here too, which is good for students. And I really like the roof. It's got like little rocks. Yeah. So another really cute little free library. Here is a little free library at Kiva Park. Looks like a book fell out. This is one of the lift lids. Let's see what we got in here. That is, ooh, that's cool. Royal letters. I don't think my son is into princesses. In fact, he's not into any anime characters. So that probably wouldn't do good well for him, but they've got quite a few books in here. Nice. Put that right back where it was. But yeah. So a nice, simple little free libraries. Nice, standard size and shape. The metal top. The official sign and number. I like the metal top. But yep. Yeah. So this is the one at Cuba Park. Here is another little free library. I love this one. It's got like, oh, I think these are lights for at night. And it's in memory of Elaine. Oh, it's got little dog treats inside. It's so pretty, look at the side paneling. You can see it from afar. Okay, so let's get this open. It's got little dog treats inside and some bookmarks. Ooh, it has Anne McCaffrey. I am tempted to get that, but I won't. Ooh, and all the... Ooh, I do need the Mocking Jay game. Okay. So I do need the Hunger Games books because mine are all missing, but I think I will wait because I really want those collectible edition ones or softback ones. And that way somebody can get the whole trilogy. Man, they have some really good books in this one. I like this one. Here is another little free library. And look at this beautiful rock garden that it's set in. It's so pretty. I love it when they have beautiful environments. So it's hard to tell with this lighting. But it's red. And it's got a black uh, metal roof, it looks like. Let's see what we've got inside. The lighting is really bad for this. So it's got like a turn notch and it pops right open. Let's see what books they have in here. Ooh, they've got Harry Potter. And they've got, so they've got some cool stuff in here. I like it. The inside looks like it's painted as well. So I love that. It smells like fresh paint too. So I wonder if they just repainted it. This smells so good. Okay, so this is a really cute one. I love how thick this door is. 
I've got to make one of these. And then it just turns like that. Nice. Another gorgeous little free library.